all that said, Greg, we're going to start the round table off with you hey. this week, but uh, I think I'm clued in that all you got to talk about is that ring. Yeah, all I've done because I want to beat it and have it and be done with it because this game, they told me it was 30 hours, but I'm like 80 hours in and I don't think I'm done yet. <laughs> they lied. Uh, oh, I do. Also. I think I'm really close to the end of the game, though. Uh, but like, like I was saying earlier today and yesterday, I have been stuck on like two bosses, and I just can't get past them. They are crazy difficult for me. You must don't work you. well. Yeah, it's what people keep saying, uh, but it really does not help. Or you Believing know, you can only get me so far. Your pals. Well, yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. I see. I, I have this. I have this good pal, and he came in, and while uh, no, it was my good friend Laser, as oh. as he's called as as he's called in the gaming world. Uh but he helped me beat the boss, the one boss that was. I literally took like maybe six, or, like five or six hours to beat, and we uh we beat it after like two att- two or three attempts. And, uh, like, the next day, or today, I got on, played, like, maybe 20 minutes, got to the next boss, and I've been at, at it uh, ever since. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> this I, is I've heard pr- uh, there's a big difficulty spike near the end of the game. Yeah, uh, there's, like, a crazy difficulty spike. Like, I was, like, I, I was, it was difficult, but not, like, crazy difficult when I played, when I started. And but, gamers, uh, let, let me, let me rest the audience real quick. I've co-op with Greg, and he's not bad at Souls games. He's good. You know, this is not a baddie. Well, I am bad at video games. I will. Greg, I thank Greg, you for that. Greg, I, I just went on a whim here. I mean, you gotta... Just, sorry, man. Kind of, God, sorry. They're gonna think Andy's right. bad now, too, because he... No, well, Andy, Andy uses magic, and he, uh, he has, like, a crazy katana. I've seen him do stuff. Oh, the one everyone has? Yeah, I heard about that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is right, a Buzz like yeah. I, I don't want to spoil the build for newbies, but... Uh, I really think that like there's a re- the reason everyone has it is because p- the prisoners index it's not that hard to find I-, I can't even remember where I got it but like it's just such a good weapon for the dex int build and yes. then th- that same with that staff that everybody's talking about there's like two staffs that are just crazy good the game definitely needs balancing is what I'm getting at but like it- people are of a certain build are kind of just naturally funneled to those things. You know what I mean? There's some builds that like require like weird complex combinations of things where you're like, okay, yeah, you read that on the internet. But I was using that fucking build for like 40 hours before. I, I it was just really name. funny. Yeah, I've been talking about like, that build like all game. Yeah, you've been talking about that. I'm like, wow, it's really cool. And then you know that picture or the meme thing showed up, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's funny. I've just been uh running around with a scythe, uh, just trying to kill stuff. I didn't notice when I started doing invasions how common my build was. That, that was what I really noticed is because <laughs> so many people were using the fucking moon veil. Even people who it's weren't powerful. Mages. So good. And I do but think I, that this game oh. really uh, leans towards making you a hybrid of some sort. Like I went pure strength with no magic bullshit at all. But I think the game really does more so than any of the Souls games expect you to have some level of Oh yeah, man. In, in yeah, I've also been thinking that in like these last two fights, I've I've thought to myself, man, this would be a lot better if I had like some form of magic to work with. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, in, and like you said, it's a hybrid though. Like I'm a, you know, I could not play full mage. There's there's like some bosses that I just say fuck the magic and I run in with my blades. You yeah, know what I mean? like there there it's totally situational, which I really like. You know, you can't. It's not really. Other than like the really bullshit builds that are definitely going to be nerfed, there's not really any one size fit all solutions in the game, right? Which I really like. But uh, yeah, dude, it's uh, I've still, I mean, last two days have been rough, but I, I'm, I, I've been having fun still. It's, yeah. uh It's good. It's good. Good, clean fun. I, I just can't believe how much time I'm spending in it because, like, <laughs> yeah. It just That's melts really away the time, thing. and I and then I'm still discovering new areas in the game. But like, I I really am scraping the shit. Like, I'm I'm sure I miss stuff, but like, Lernia and Lindgrave, for example, um, and maybe even Kaled. I would say that like, I've 
I'm confident I've got 95% of everything there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like I've gotten a large chunk of most of the stuff. Like, I'm sure like, I'm missing stuff. Like, I've definitely missed like, stuff, I... like quests and bosses I've missed. But that's yeah. why I would like to hopefully beat the game either today or tomorrow. Doubtful, but hopefully. Uh, and then I could see, like, what I missed. And I think that'd be, like, interesting because it'll be like, yeah. oh, I did a bunch of stuff and I missed, like, half the game. That's cool. Yeah. I was watching uh, Andy's stream uh, a day or two ago and he found a boss that I was just like oh I never went down there like I fought something similar to it but I just never went down and got that guy so in my know. game I, I just quickly went and about. smashed his head and killed him but that's cool there's one of the one of the beasts in uh, the plateau ah, yeah. yes okay yeah. Uh, so oh yeah I remember that guy yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you fight him a few times yeah yes you do um <laughs> I, I completed the game and my final time was somewhere just over 100 hours in total Ugh. and that's I've, that's having uh gotten i would say like 98 to 99 percent of the content in the entire game like i beat i got every boss that i i'm pretty sure i got all the bosses maybe missed like one you know yeah and uh like there's some nighttime rumors and shit like that you know it's hard hard to some some it's just yeah so did you did you guys say how many hours you're in yeah so i i feel like i'm about on track with you maybe i mean i i think i'm a little slower because i'm doing also a lot of pvp uh, which yes. i don't think you did and i'm doing a lot of summons a lot more than i think you did um and i and, like and I, I, I have spent like entire like an entire day just playing co-op with somebody in this game like Knoxville that one day so um yeah. you know my time is inflated but i'm around 90 hours okay but i also i still have i'm just got to a new area like yesterday the day before and like i still have a lot of map left i think like at least uh maybe the last region i have a lot of it left so because like greg the bosses you're talking about that you're struggling with those are progress blockers right those aren't options yes that this just... is literally okay. i think like the like last thing i need to do in this area to go to right. the last boss because it seems like so maybe there's there is some optional content that you could still do with your you said your late 70 hours something like that yeah i feel there's um, definitely stuff i've missed but like i know there's one thing i missed but i just don't know how to get to this one part <laughs> Okay. Uh, but there's those, and I know I haven't done them because they fucking suck. Uh, the hero tombs, the hero graves. Oh, sure. God, I, the, the I, the worst, I, yeah. I, I can talk. I can dun- talk about them because they're uh like ones right in the beginning of the game. But they're these fucking dungeons with these uh like wheel monsters that you can't kill, and they just go up and down these tracks, and they are uh, such a pain in the fucking ass. They're worst dungeons die, they hate you. You get sure. all the way sent back to the beginning. It's awful. I- I spent so much fucking time in the Mount Gelmir. Um, <laughs> That's the one I was like, dude, I'm not doing these. And I just, I fucking left. That was the last, every time I go to one, I just grab the grace and I just leave. Well, cause I was going to say, uh, Andy, I don't know if you've hit this optional content so far, but there is some optional content in this game. That is the hardest stuff in the game. I have heard so much about that from, okay. <laughs> certain in, certain individuals around us. I I I, I kind of. I'm not going to say any more than that because I I, I, I think I've heard about this themselves. as well. I, I I didn't tell him off, but I did like say something because there's an individual in our Discord yesterday, uh, and I had to tell him like, look, you have told me about this boss in like coded terms oh, every damn. day since every day since you've beat him. Like every time like we start talking about the game, he's always like, oh, but there's this one boss. And I'm like, I just don't want to hear it. I haven't got to it yet. Yeah. It's definitely stuff that you just, just it's experience, have had that own experience. But, but I'm aware that, that there's, there's, there's extremely difficult optional content. Yeah. Maybe we should like preface this with like a spoiler even. I recommend it. I mean, whatever. But. Try it <laughs> at least. <laughs> just to have, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to conquer everything in this game. Cool. I got my mindset to it. There's no doubt. But yeah, um, onward into the future, I'm looking forward to future builds. I'm also looking forward to balance patches and seeing how that changes up the game, too. Um, not that yeah, like I same. feel like the game isn't like in a terrible place, but like there's definitely just like stuff that's like obviously cracked. Like magic needs an overhaul. There's some spells that are way too good, and a lot of spells are, are not good enough. Hmm. Um, still a lot of fun, of course. 
top tier design still. Yes. Yeah, it's great. I uh, like I said, I want to beat it so I can go back to playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> Cal- calm, cozy Final Fantasy. <laughs> you make you make you make it sound like you're you're tired of it. No, it's not that I'm tired. It's just that I've I because I I play Final Fantasy a lot and. Uh, it's just after not playing it for like two weeks, I'm like, damn, dude, I am missing a lot of shit oh, I need yeah, to be yeah. doing. The, the to do list, man, is piling up. Yeah, I understand that it's a, it's a big investment of effort and time and everything. It, it it is really cool though that I'm 90 hours into a game and still discovering new content, and I have mm-hmm. still not finished the story and discovering new areas and land masses and things totally unique from the content I've seen before. I don't know if I've ever. Yeah, I'm not used a game to games like being this long. So funny. Usually, I'm used to like a. a uh, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say so funny that like in the pre-release marketing they build this as a 30-hour game. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. No. I was like, they, every game nowadays is like 30-something hours, like if that. And uh, this one, like most of us having like 100 hours, 100 plus hours, uh, it's pretty crazy. All right, Greg. That's uh, well. That's all I got on Elden Ring. Um, I have so much more to say on Elden Ring, but I'm waiting for our Elden Ring well, episode. That, full yes, discussion. Yes, full of spoilers. course. Yeah, of course. That that is the proper thing. You know what I mean? I don't want to empty the bag here. Hmm. Don't worry, because I'm not going to beat this boss, and it's going to make me so angry. I'm going to quit, and I'm just going to be on John's side where I shit on this game nonstop. Okie dokie. <laughs> we might. I don't know where this is coming from. I didn't say anything bad about John the game. John hates in my Elden review. Ring, and he, we, he's just like he's just filled with rage. Try to, uh, hmm. I we're trying to mix it up a little bit for that spoiler cast. We might try to get some special guests on. We'll see. I bet. I bet there's some people I can convince to talk about Elden Ring. It could happen for a while. You know, I remarked that they did some things that they have not done before in previous Souls games. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I got before no I forget, I cannot drop this thread. Last week, I announced the Broken Campfire Group password, and it was way too long. Um. The it wasn't password. even our password. Well, I wasn't going to announce the secret password. <laughs> uh, um, you got to weed the weed them out. The broken campfire group password. It was in the episode description last week. Is B Camp Pod, all lowercase, all one word. B Camp Pod. B C A M P P O D. Have you guys had anybody invade? Have you seen any? Uh, I've done. Listeners? Uh, no, not yet. But well, they're out there. But also, I I know our, I'm in a group that has let's just say 20 people in it. The you know our group, and it's not a whole. It's not super frequently. It's not like I see people all the time because because the way it works is like that shit. Your messages, your blood stains, all that. I think it's only going to appear if you're online. Right. It's also John, just plain tougher to be invaded, like not that in this uh, game at all. Not that I want you to play Elden Ring, and in fact, I think I even told you that like if you didn't like the previous Souls games, you're not going to like it. Yeah, but did it? Having lived in a world without playing Elden Ring for two weeks, have you been more or less tempted, or not at all changed into buying it? Uh. Probably less. <laughs> like the, well, you know, the, the greatest hype is like right, you know, the right as the game comes out, you know, right before it comes out, you know, everybody's, you know, waiting for it. They're talking about it. And then, you know, maybe like the day it came out, everyone's playing it. And it's like, oh, wow, oh, look at this. Wow, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Now we're like, uh, we're two weeks. So we're, we're past all that. I would say not even entirely. Like, well, I mean, definitely compared to, like, yeah, I mean, you yeah, def- like kid, kids but no, no, for, for sure, it, 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 uh, it's tapered off significantly, but the hype is still there, I think, for a lot of us. Yeah, no, I've definitely. Seen... Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, I've seen, you know, some criticism that's been growing about the game. Um, but for me, I think the, the gushing that we did on Elden Ring Impressions episode 
was the is the kind of feeling that is going to linger with me rather than the criticisms I have. Oh, Even though the criticisms for, for sure. I have might be building after 100 hours playing the game, uh, yeah. the impressions that I had after 50 are the ones that are like, that mean something to me. Yeah, for sure. And, and you know, I could say even the same thing about um, my, my GOAT Disco Elysium, you know. I've played it. Yes. Well, you know, playtime doesn't really matter. Significantly less than Elden Ring by now, but um, I've played it enough to love that game called a 10 out of 10 and also like recognize it has like some severe flaws to it. Um, mm -hmm. I think, I think the same is true of Elden Ring, but like the thing is, is like a lot of the shit I don't have, I, I'm not enjoying about Elden Ring or enjoying. is not even a wrong word. It's more like nitpicks. It's st stuff like the balancing and stuff that like, I know they've addressed in patches. So like I'm not that bothered by it. Um, there are, there are a lot of concrete, not a lot I would say, but there are, there are definitely some concrete criticisms I have about the game. Um, well, one thing that's more clear, uh, at least watching you guys play, you know, before, as the game was coming out, maybe the first day, you know, everyone was like, yeah, you might like it. It's not, it's not like Dark Souls. It's going to be a little different. And I mean, I'm watching it. Yeah, you know, they got to jump on, they got a horse. But I mean, and, and obviously I haven't played it. So this is more you guys. But the combat looks, I mean, you know, if somebody said it's Dark Souls 4, I would have been like, all right, that's fine. That, uh, that that is fairly accurate way to describe it. When people talk about how you might like it, um, I I disagree with that because I I really think that this is like a a big love letter to Souls fans, and you're not one of those, you know. Um, yeah. But but what people are talking about, they're talking about the fact that one of the hardest things that turn people off about Dark Souls is that you'll get to a boss and he's just too hard for you, but you don't really have any other content you can do until you kill this boss. He's a wall. Elden Ring is designed such that, like, walls don't really exist, maybe until, like, the very end of the game. But, like, any point in the game when you're fighting a boss that you don't like, that is maybe too tough for you, that you don't have the right weapon for, or you're just not in the mood for, you can just go off and do other content. And the optional content in the game seems specific, or a lot of it at least. I mean, it's kind of, the stuff you have to go out and find is harder. But, like, a lot of the stuff you can just stumble on is seems like specifically made to be easier than like the big dungeons. So like right there to kinda, build you up. Right. So like that's what people are talking about because like most Souls games have a linear branching storyline maybe that has like a three or four different paths you can go down, but all of them will have walls. Whereas Elden Ring, it, it you know, it's just a big giant web. You know, you can navigate, you can circumvent all the walls. Like Greg, for example. Um, skipping the first area of the game, doing the second area of the game first, which would just ha so happen to be easier for him because of his build, and then going back and storming through the first area of the game. Elden Ring is never, or none of the Souls games have ever, ever made that as easy as Elden Ring. But, like, at the core, like, the minute-to-minute -minute combat, it, Souls 4 is definitely, like, the accurate way to describe it. Yeah, Even no, I Martin feel that. Uh, this is definitely, yeah, this is definitely more of a game, though, that I would just, and I don't really do this with games but if, if i was going to experience it's more of a game that i would just watch yeah uh, like at the the heart of it i just don't i don't know i just don't find the combat rewarding it's just not you know what i mean i just like it's not your, it's not your thing it's not even that i think it's bad yeah i just like fast or tough I like dashes i like like teleports i like moving quick i don't i don't like i don't like being a, a human slow meat bag i want to be <laughs> some sort of no, some sort of you. sonic you wanna, the hedgehog you want to be you want to be naruto yeah, I actually totally get that, John. Uh, I don't think there's any. But I mean, in, in this no game, I mean, there. you know, even more so, it seems like it's it's um, I don't know, not, not geared to casual, but geared to everybody because it seems like you can. I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. You can yeah. summon people more easily, or like co-ops more. Um, I, that's why exactly that I like to describe it as maybe approachable is the best word. Yeah, because accessible implies like handy capable um stuff which this game i think does not really have a whole lot of so like maybe approachable is like the best way to describe it but like it certainly is like whatever accessible is fine the most accessible souls game easily yeah but see my problem is if i play it one i i wouldn't i wouldn't want to beat the bosses with, with co-op the first time around i wouldn't i well i wouldn't, you, I wouldn't and not that there's anything wrong with it. obviously you play the game however the fuck you want but i know me I would just oh, be like, uh, what do I want to do it? That's do how I've myself. played 
every single Souls game until this one. And even this one, I've done it most of the time. But, like, I, I got to the point where, like, when I started realizing how big this game is, like, this is a hundred plus hour game. I'm not going to, like, sweat it if I spend, like, two hours playing with the boys to kill a boss because there's going to be, like, nine other Well, yeah, especially if bosses. it's, like, an optional one, you know? Yeah. I've heard yeah. some of the other, they re, nothing is, you know, not a negative, but, you know, some of the bosses they reuse, you'll see, like, different variations. Like, yeah, whatever. Who cares if you take that with the boy? Yeah. It's more so, yeah. like, the main. The big, the big boys. Yeah, yeah. And um, also the no, whole no, new I, I definitely, of... I definitely prefer to feel like the tough guys, the ones that like, you know, you get honor for killing. I definitely want that. Um, I think Elden Ring is more encouraging than any other game, though. About you should just use summons. You know, I, I don't, well, the... I still don't almost ever. But like, the whole spirit ashes system is like subtly encouraging you to do that. Yeah, he, he, yeah, you can talk about a flask. I've been talking a while. No, I was just going to say that they introduced the whole new mechanic of, of Spirit Ashes just to say to you, hey, don't feel bad about helping yourself out yeah. <laughs> when you need it, you know? Yeah. Like, like upgrade these things, get all the, collect them all and uh, use the one you want. And, uh, you know, if you don't, if you don't feel like tra tra traditional player summons are, are your thing or you, you don't, you feel too prideful for that, then this is just like a magical uh, ability that you can use. <laughs> So you don't I'm, have to feel that yeah. way. I'm looking forward to um, playing the game in future and like pseudo challenging myself, like maybe trying to do like a soul level 40 run or something like that. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. for the hell of it. Uh, anyway, man, that was a lot more on Elden Ring than I expected, but we kind of got back on that thread because John has some interesting things to say. So thank you, John. You know, thank you, John. Just an Elden boy. I'm trying to make 